just my older brother played on guitar, so I'll see my pops train him. And I was just watching, I was so interested in it. At the time I was playing T-ball though. But I was just so interested in it and I was like, man, I was just like amazed, keep on watching. My dad was like, hey, don't be running around, sit down or else you gotta go inside. And I'll listen, I'll sit down to make sure I can stay in there and just watch the whole thing. And then I asked my father, can I start training when I turn seven? And he said, yeah. And then ever since then, I never looked back. When I won my first national title at 11 years old, uh, it was in Kansas City, Missouri. It was my first national and I won. And then just see me being ranked number one in the nation, it was crazy. You know, because I never thought I'll take it this far. I always took it as a hobby, as a little thing that I just did. But I loved it, and I just tried my best at it, and we, we came far. And so my pops had a big plan. My pops Ben had a plan before me, though. He always seen the future. Me, I was just a kid. You know, I was just having fun. And then ever since then, I told myself, wow, I could really do this. Once he won, I think it was a ringside nationals, and then he came home. A couple months later, he won the Silver Glove Nationals, and I could see his confidence growing. Then I kind of knew he was gonna um, do something in boxing. <clears throat> well, yeah, obviously, you know, his uh, his mom was murdered when he was 12 years old. Um, his uncles were in gangs. You know, our whole family's pretty pretty much in gangs and wrapped up in that lifestyle. But um, yeah, he learned from it. And he's seen. He went through a lot, man. He had to deal with a lot of stuff mentally, but he overcame it and it made him stronger. And um, I think that makes him the fighter he is today. I mean, it's just all the state of your mind, you know. Uh, it's hard for different people. Some people are not as strong-minded, you know, or look at stuff differently, you know. But uh, for me, I try to let it relax me, try to make it motivate me, you know, make me feel better. Like, she's there always watching me when I'm fighting because she loved to watch me fight. She was always on my fights. I still got videos to this day. She's all yelling, you can hear in the video and everything, but it's because she loved to see me fight. She loved to see me doing what I love to do. And so it just, I just try it. As funny as it sounds, I try to make it bring like positive vibes. Like my mom's always here with me at all times. Uh, I was really mad. I was hurt, of course, because it was weird though. Because at, right after the fight, I just kept on looking around. I was like, it's too good to be too good to be true. It's too good to be true. They're not gonna give it to me. I just that's how I felt. Like me, them giving it to me. I never nothing ever goes the right way from past experience of boxing. So I kind of expected it, but it hurt when it happened because it wasn't the right thing to happen. But it was what it was. You know, I was just blessed enough to be in that position to get all that experience. So, but I didn't know. We went home, we still talked about it. You know, I mean, think about it. I was so young, I was only 15. Nobody goes pro at 16, signs a contract at 16. So that wasn't even in our minds. We were just like, all right, we're gonna keep on staying this amateur thing with the whoop, you know? The next thing we went to the uh, Junior Worlds again to qualify for the USA team, won that. So we were just keep on on our amateur game because we did not expect to go pro this so early. You know, this opportunity was just spoken to us and we're all for it. And we were blessed enough to be in the right position. It was unbelievable, man. It was a trip, man. It was crazy, man. But um, everything was there, all the stars aligned. You know, we had the team, he had the background, he had the story, you know? He's a good looking kid, he could speak well, he could fight his ass off, so it was perfect, man. I think, and um, people ask me, you think it'll happen again? I, I don't think it'll ever happen again for a 16 year old to get signed. You know, it was historic. Uh, like, it never felt real at that moment. Like, me, I'm, I don't really show too much emotion, like, when big stuff like happens like that. But, and on my inside, it's definitely on the inside. I, feel, I felt so warm and felt so good on the inside. I was just so happy. But I didn't really express it as like facial expressions, but I felt good, man. It was crazy, cause like I said, it wasn't supposed to happen that soon. And it did, and that's just blessings. So I was just, I was filled with joy. And then just to look at my pops and to see that we accomplished something like that, you know, when we wrote a new chapter in boxing, it was amazing. You know what, um, I always knew that he was gonna be a good pro, you know, cause he picks his shots, he's not, um, he's never nervous, he takes his time. He's real calm in there. He has a real calm demeanor in the ring, which is um, a plus. I mean, you need to be calm in the ring. You can't be frantic, you can't be jittery, you can't second guess yourself. He, the confidence is there and the calmness is there. So, I mean, I knew it would be a, a good transition for him. It would be pretty easy, I knew it. Yeah, it makes me look at things different. You know, uh, I think it's just matured me overall. You know, uh, be from the boxing ring to outside of boxing, it just matured me overall. Like, I really got a career and a job now. You know, this is not anything to mess around with. And it's, it's really hard to explain though, cause like, I think differently, I act differently, I do stuff differently. 
like from even my room. Like my room was always be dirty, but now I clean it. Like I just feel like I don't know. Like always professional, not in the terms professional boxer, but like I gotta like make sure everything is right. I relax. I think to myself. I make sure my mind is clear because I gotta be ready for the gym. I can't make sure. I can't have a lot of stuff in my head and it be all cloudy up there. I gotta make sure I'm. It's all cleared up. So I just I make sure I take care of my business. That's what I do. I make sure I take care of my business so I'm ready. Well, I think in three years, man, I'll be a world champion. Easy. Three years of a span. But within five years, pound for pound, maybe. You know, I always set the goal high. I always have big goals, set the bar high. Because if you don't, then you're limiting yourself. So you just, if you set it high, you keep on going and going and going. If you reach it, you gotta set it even higher. You never be satisfied. That's how you get the best out of you. But in five years, I, I wanna have more than one world title for sure. For sure. But who knows? Who knows? Maybe that's not for me. Two world titles at that time. But we'll just see how it all plays out. But they'll know my true talent by then.